middle schoolers, this is Mrs. Bellum. I am excited to share with you the 2023 nominees for the Minnesota Youth Reading Awards. Each year, these National Book Awards are given out to authors for their outstanding contributions to children's literature. The 2022 John Newberry Medal goes to The Last Quintista. The Schneider Family Book Award goes to A Bird Will Soar. The Stonewall Book Award goes to Almost Flying. And Unspeakable won both the National Book Award and the Coretta Scott King Award. At the local level, we have our own Maud Hart Loveless Award, named after Minnesota author Maud Hart Loveless, who is famous for her Betsy Tacey children's books. This award is different from the national awards in that students get to pick the winner. Let's see how you can participate. It's super easy to participate. All you have to do is read three of the 10 titles that I am about to book talk, and then cast your vote either on the paper ballot or on the Google form I will post to Schoology before March 31st. Our first title is 96 Miles by J. L. Esplin. The Lockwood brothers are supposed to be able to survive anything. Their dad, a hardcore believer in self-reliance, has stockpiled enough food and water at their isolated home in Nevada to last for months. But they are robbed of all their supplies during a massive blackout when their dad is out of town, and they must walk 96 miles into the stark desert sun to get help. Our next story is All the Impossible Things by Lindsay Lackey. Red's inexplicable power over the wind comes from her mother. Whenever Ruby Red Bird is scared or angry, the wind picks up. And being placed in foster care, moving from family to family, tends to keep her skies stormy. Red knows she has to learn how to control it, but she can't figure out how to do that. Our next title is Becoming Muhammad Ali. Before he was a household name, Cassius Clay was a kid with struggles, just like any other. Authors Kwame Alexander and James Patterson joined forces to vividly depict his life up to age 17 in both prose and verse, including his childhood friends, struggles in school, the racism he faced, and his discovery of boxing. Next up is Fighting Words by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley. Della might get told off for swearing at school, but she has always known how to keep quiet where it counts. When her older sister Suki tries to kill herself, Della's world turns so far upside down it feels like it's shaking her by the ankles. Maybe she's been quiet about all the wrong things. Maybe it's time to be loud. Our fifth nominee is The Missing Piece of Charlie O'Reilly by Rebecca K.S. Ansari. Charlie O'Reilly is an only child, which is why it makes everyone uncomfortable when he talks about his brother, Liam. Everyone else seems to have forgotten Liam, but when Charlie receives a mysterious note in his brother's handwriting, he goes off on a magical adventure with his friend Anna to make some profound discoveries about his brother. If you liked the book Wonder by R.J. Palacio, you're going to love White Bird, a wonder story. This book is soon to be made into a movie about Julian's grandmother and her life during World War II, how she, as a young Jewish girl, was hidden by a family in Nazi-occupied France, and how the boy she and her classmates had once shunned becomes her savior and best friend. Our next nominee is Brave Like That by Lindsay Stoddard. Cyrus Olson's dad is a hero. Northfield's former football star and now one of their finest firefighters. Everyone expects Cyrus to follow in his dad's record-breaking footsteps, and he wishes they were right, except he's never been brave like that. This year, with the help of a stray dog, a few new friends, a little bit of rhythm, and a lot of nerve, he may just discover that he actually is brave. Our eighth nominee is City Spies by James Ponty. Sarah Martinez is a hacker. She recently broke into the New York City foster care system to expose her foster parents as cheats and lawbreakers. Instead of being hailed as a hero, Sarah finds herself facing years in a juvenile detention facility and banned from using computers. 
Enter Mother, a British spy who not only gets her released from jail, but offers her a chance to become a spy herself. Our next nominee is Count Me In by Varsha Bajaj. Karina Chopra would never have imagined becoming friends with her next door neighbor Chris until her grandfather begins tutoring him and she discovers he's actually a nice funny kid. One afternoon, the three of them are targeted for a hate crime. When Karina posts a few photos with the hashtag, what does an American look like? Her post goes viral. Our final nominee is Song for a Whale by Lynn Kelly. From fixing class computers to repairing old radios, 12-year-old Iris is a tech genius. But she's the only deaf person in her school, so people often treat her like she's not very smart. When she learns about Blue 55, a real whale who is unable to speak to other whales, she has an idea. She should invent a way to sing to him. But he's 3,000 miles away. How will she play her song for him? Thanks for listening to all the nominees. If any of those stories sound interesting and they are available, you can check out one of the titles today. Please do not take extras so that everybody can have a turn. If you would like to get more titles, you can place a hold. To do this, you're going to log into Destiny Discover with your first name, last name, and then your lunch number with two zeros. At the top of the page, click on Collections, and then select Mod Heart Loveless 2023 nominees. From there, you can pick the book that you would like to put on hold, click the three dots to hold it, and we will email you as soon as it's ready. If the book you wanted to read is checked out, don't worry. We are running a fundraiser during our September book fair at the end of the month from September 29th through October 3rd. Any purchases you make at the book fair will help each language arts teacher get their own class set of these titles. The more you buy, the more they'll get for their classes. So get ready to shop and we'll see you at the book fair in a few weeks.